What is up guys? So that I was showing a very short <laughs> I won't say short but kind of lengthy tutorial. Um whereby I'll be using um a simple view pager. This version is view pager two whereby you'll be able to swipe the views as well as to also click on the next and then the previous button or the back button to also swipe the views for you. So this is what I mean. So when you swipe um on the first instance when you swipe this back button comes on the first um screen there is no back button right so when you swipe again it's it shows when you swipe again the next the next button goes to finish basically saying this is the end of um the swipe views and also if you want to use the back end finish or the back or the next button to also update the views by swiping it pause you click on the buttons it also updates to as well all right so um we are we are we are actually jumping straight into the tutorial i've already coded everything into the id id i id want to do um a code along which is actually going to take a longer a longer time to actually code and also explain to as well so i've already done the coding and we will jump straight to the implementation so what i did here is basically um created a, a fragment which i named to be a stepper fragment now what is stepper fragment that is uh, it actually hosts the view pager which actually loads my three fragments so which is the first fragment second fragment and then the third fragment also so ideally the stepper fragment actually contains your view pager right yes so you have to go and define the view pager in the XML. Let's do that right away. So in the XML, right, we have our view pager, which actually spans um, the width and the height of the whole screen, because ideally that's where the fragments are going to be loaded in. So with the top layout, there are actually a few attributes which we have to define in order to make it work in this way. Let me explain. So we have, um, the main thing which you have to define is the tab background right so the tab background is actually hosting these three dots we actually see over here right and there's something interesting over here which we, got, we actually call a selector right so the selector basically helps you to identify some states on which your current view is actually running in so in this state, right, the tabs which we actually have or the, the view pager which we actually have, we want to be able to detect um, when the current screen is actually open. That is when you swipe to the next screen. We want to detect that screen which is being opened, right? So we actually set that variable or that attribute to be state selected to be true, right? So once that's, that um or once you swipe to a new page and then the state selected boolean becomes true and if it's true we will now come and set a durable right to be this type which is um a linear list and then an item and then a shape of a ring right we set the inner radius we set the thickness and then we set the use level to be false Right, so that is basically the blue thing which is actually showing there. So in, in this case, in, the, in this screen which you're actually seeing now, the first screen is actually um state selected, and that's actually true, and that's actually loading this. And then the the last two variables or the last two dots, right on the right hand side, is the default selected, right, which is um currently at this point. Let me show it to you so by default we are actually loading this which is um this shape too as well so we have um a linear layout an item and then a shape and then the shape of ring almost same attributes but then we change the color sorry that's an issue but then we change the color to be that a little bit white that's what you are actually seeing over here right so basically we are saying if the state is selected load the blue one and if the state is not selected load the white one simple and sweet so that is that for the for the tab 
background we set the tab gravity which is basically setting the alignment of the tabs over here so we actually setting that to be center and then we set the tab indicator height to be zero we set the x max, max width which is actually the distance between this portion and then the next dot to as well so when it's increased you see it to be increased to as well and then we basically set the tab text color right so over here we don't really have any text over here but we set it to be transparent and this transparent basically doesn't have any color in it right? so it doesn't even show that text color in this option over here so basically then we set um our button which is the back right you can actually pause this and have a view of um the code so as well and then you can simply type along and then we have our next button at this instance so as well now now in this tutorial we actually have two main methods by which you can actually swipe your um pages in the view pager the first one is swiping moving left and right and also using the button clicking the next and then the previous store as well right so with the swipe we need to be able to detect or to make a callback right on the swiping action to as well so that's this registered over here which is the view page dot register on page change callback right so when you swipe it actually updates the position over here by overriding the on page selected right so when you swipe the position is being updated whether it's being zero one or two as well in this instance right so let's take it from the back so over here the position is actually equal to zero when it's equal to zero we set the visibility of the previous button to be gone right or invincible so it's actually gone when you swipe to the right the page the position becomes one right and then we show the previous button as the visibility to be visible and then when you move to the next page the position is equal to two right and then we show or we update the next text to that of finish right so i mean is this what i'm talking about from next finish right so this actually handles the wiping callback now to be able to also detect um or to be able to swipe by using the buttons to here there's some key things you have to actually know now you have to define a variable called um a current page right which would keep track of the position of the fragments in each view page right so when you when you are scrolling normally right and the position is equal to zero we have to also update the current page to be zero now this current page is going to be used to move to the next or the previous button right so over here let's see the current page is actually zero in this instance now the zero if the zero is less than two that is when we click on the button right the next button and then the current page is less than two since which we only have three screens or three fragments showing in the view page which is starting from zero one two right we want the current page to be less than two as well right if the current page right is less than two so in this instance zero is less than two we increment the page counter by one right and if it's by one what we do is we load um this this block in the point statement which is the view page dot current item is equal to one now this view page dot current item is equal to one is just updating the position in the view page so if it's equal to one right what, what happens is that this position is being updated to as well in the swiping action right and then that position two as well is also updated in this inner class which is actually loading the fragment so when it's when it's equal to one right load the second fragment and then at the same time 
the swiping um the swiping action right also takes effect by setting the current page to also one so what we are doing here is we are defining a current page which would always keep track or which will always be the same when you click on the button and also swipe in with the action to move to the next screen right so this is actually helping us to keep track of the position at all times so that we'll be able to seamlessly move between screens without moving two steps or three steps um to different screens so as well i hope i hope that is clear let me take that one more time right so at this instance right we have our position to be equal to zero right when you are swiping it's equal to zero so our current page is also zero right so zero is also here right now this view page dot current view page dot current item updates um or points to the position now the position is updated in two places which is the swiping side which is actually over here and then the creating of the fragments in their inner inner fragment in our inner class right which is the view page adapter so we load this second fragment as well right so when you click this is what happens so now the position is set to one so now the wiping action knows that it's supposed to run from here right at one and then the the clicking you you being able to click on the next and button to knows that the current page is at one so at every point in time the swiping action and then the um clicking of the button to move to the next and then the previous always know which position they are currently running on in this way it's synchronized such as when you press the back button when you press the, the, the back button over here the position in all instances goes to zero right so you realize the previous one i just clicked on the button over here i i will decide to swipe right so now the position is at one the swiping knows that it's it's its position is at one and then the next buttons also know that its position is at one so you'll be able to seamlessly move into the next screen by also updating its position yes so this is this actually the the code which i actually used for the view pager swiping and then clicking on the button too as well right so you can actually pause the video to actually um copy the codes very well and this will be a very straightforward um tutorial for you by just typing the code and understanding it um thank you for watching this video please 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 like and subscribe these videos as well thank you